Good afternoon, John. How are you? Good, thanks. Christchurch has never been represented by a Muslim politician. Zara Husseini is determined to change that. So you can get in touch with me through the information there. The 27-year-old who was born in Afghanistan has been campaigning fiercely ahead of the city's October elections. Her candidacy was inspired by the March 15 mosque attacks when a lone gunman killed 51 worshippers during Friday prayers. After the attacks, a lot of the girls, or many women in the community, were quite concerned to go out and walk out with their hijabs. I thought, my community needs me and I need to be there for them. I stood in this mosque and saw hatred Imam Gamal Fauda had just begun giving his sermon at the Al Nur Mosque when the gunman entered and unleashed a volley of bullets. His tilt at politics also a result of the massacre. As a religious minister, I found it very positive to actually get out of be from behind the walls of the mosque and come out and talk to people and be part of their community. Since March 15, he's been welcoming people into his place of worship saying education is key to combating hate. So that they can see what's behind this, what is the mystery behind this building, behind these walls, is there any weapons, are Muslim terrorists? The doors of the Al Nur Mosque have always been open, but it's only in the last six months it's seen an influx of visitors, both locals and internationals, including non-Muslims. The community say it's breaking down barriers and removing the misconceptions often associated with their religion. Hi, um, this is Zara here. It's given Zara Husseini, who in the past has been a victim of Islamophobia, the courage to enter politics, a move praised by her community. When you nominate yourself to become a candidate, you're actually opening the door of criticism from everyone around you. So um, they always tell me that it's a brave step I'm taking and they're proud to see me doing this. Zara, what made you decide you wanted to contest these elections? She also has the backing of the country's former Prime Minister, Helen Clark, who in 2001 took in more than 100 asylum seekers from the cargo ship, the Tampa, after they were rejected by Australia. Ms Husseini's brother and sister were among them, and she and her parents eventually joined them in New Zealand. It's been just so fantastic to see New Zealanders welcome the Tampa uh, boys, the Tampa families, and to see how successful they have been in New Zealand. Last week, Miss Clark interviewed Miss Husseini on local primetime television. It was an emotional moment for me and her because we had that link, um, that connection. Um, and she did tell me to have a thick skin. <laughs> and I do. Something she will no doubt need if elected. Abby O'Brien, SBS World News.